Hey there. Uh, today we're going to learn how to find a missing side length of a square or a rectangle when given the area of the square and the rectangle uh, as long as another side length. Uh, so in this example, um, we have a rectangle here and we'll say that the area of this rectangle is equal to 24 square inches. And then over here we might know that the width of this rectangle is equal to four inches. And what we want to do is we want to find what the length is going to be. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my knowledge on how to solve area of a rectangle or square to find the missing side length. So if I know that area is equal to length times width, uh, then I'm just going to simply plug in the information that I do have uh, to see what I need to do to find my missing length. So instead of finding the area, I now have the area, which is equal to 24. I don't know what length is yet, but I know that the width is 4. So here I have 24 is equal to length times 4. So in order to find that missing length, I'm going to need to divide my width into my area. So 24 divided by 4 is a basic fact. 4 goes into 24 six times with nothing left over. So in that case, my length, my missing length, has to be equal to 6 inches. Let's do a couple more examples. Um, it doesn't matter if they give you the length or the width, because <clears throat> if you remember, you can simply just reverse the length or the width. Uh, in this example, we'll say that the area is equal to 192 feet squared. Uh, and this time we'll give the length as 6 feet. And we want to know what the width is going to be. So again, uh, I'm going to set up my problem using the formula that I know, which is length times width. <clears throat> then I'm going to take the information that I do have and plug it into my equation. So 192 is my area, my length is 6, and I don't know what my width is. So really what this says is 6 times something is going to give me 192. Uh, in order to find what that missing uh, number is, I'm going to divide 192 divided by 6. Uh, 6 goes into 19 three times. 3 times 6 is 18, and when I subtract, there's 1 left over. Bring down your 2. 6 goes into 12 2 times. 2 times twelve or two times 6 is 12, with nothing left over. So I find that my missing side length is going to be 32 feet. Let me do one more example. Let's do one more example. Uh, in this example, we'll set our area as 477 square meters. And we'll set our length as 9 meters. And we're going to want to try and find our width. And again, if I'm multiplying these two uh, measurements to find out what my area is, uh, I'm simply going to divide my area by one of the measurements to find out what my other length or width is going to be. So area is equal to length times width. In this case, area is equal to 477 meters squared. And my length is equal to 9 meters. So I'm going to divide 477 by 9. 9 goes into 47 5 times. 5 times 9 is 45. And when I subtract, there's 2 left over. 9 goes into 27 3 times. 3 times 9 is 20, 27, and there is nothing left over, so my missing width is going to be 53 meters.